We've seen in previous examples that it's possible in an XLQ grid to add custom calculations and then the calculation is then dynamic within the grid in terms of drilling, dragging and dropping. It can also be useful to create calculations that are shared throughout the workbook and can be used in multiple Excel cube grids and formula reports. We have a number of ways of achieving this, so firstly, I'll bring up the member selector for geography. As you can see, we have France, Germany and the United Kingdom as the only three countries in Europe in this cube. If for any reason I wanted to group these together as Europe, I can do this by right-clicking and selecting the group members option. From here, I can then give the group a name and also position it within the hierarchy, in this case directly under all geographies. When I click OK, we get an additional member called Europe, which is available for me to select. So these numbers are now the sum of France, Germany and the UK. If I create a new report in the workbook, on a new sheet, you will see I can pick Europe from the geography hierarchy. This will also be the same for a formula report. All of the groups and name sets are stored centrally under custom calculations. As you can see, our Europe group is here. The box on the right shows the MDX for this group. This dialog can also be used to create new calculator members, so let's go ahead and do this. We click on insert new calculator member and then give it a name. In this case, it will be reseller average value. We'll put it under measures. And then this will be the reseller sales amount divided by the reseller order quantity. So we can literally click and drag from the tree on the left into the MDX box, remembering to put our operators in. So, if we double click on our measure, you will see we now have a new member called Reseller Average Value. So these figures now show Reseller Sales Amount divided by the order quantity. As this was set up at workbook level, this is available to all new or even existing grids as you can see here. So, creating workbook level calculations can be very advantageous as it allows calculations that are not in the cube to be created once and used many times throughout the workbook.